Hi all, today I am going to discuss about Salesforce Service Cloud. Let's start. First, what is mean by service here in general terms? Like for example, if any customer is facing any issue or it can be anything, then as as they have partnered with us, then we have to provide the that particular solution to the customer so that issue will be resolved as soon as possible and the customer will be satisfied, right? So this is like a very high level overview of what is service like. So in Salesforce terms, exactly what happens if any customer is facing some issue, then they will contact us okay like us means what they will contact salesforce or any particular agent the contact can be like in any possible way like through phone call or through email or through web okay so that particular customer they will contact the salesforce agent uh, regarding their issue okay then what salesforce agent will do he will create a case inside the salesforce service cloud okay then that case will be assigned to the particular owner so that that case will be resolved as soon as possible and a customer will be happy right so this is like high level how it happens in salesforce okay now let's see like first of all how to navigate to this service cloud okay this is app launcher like we can view six dots right this is app launcher click on it and you can simply search with service okay so you can see here right service so just click on the service then the user will be navigated to service cloud home page okay so whatever you're viewing this is called as the service cloud home page okay now here you can see right we can view like lot of tabs are available these tabs also can be customized here you can add any number of tabs you can remove any number of tabs as well okay so now coming to this chatter accounts and contacts already in detail i have explained about these tabs very clearly in my sales cloud video okay so what i suggest is first before watching the service cloud i suggest you guys to watch sales cloud video so that you will get a clear overview like what is exactly accounts and what is exactly contacts chatter over here okay so mainly um because uh sales and service cloud like uh, mostly a lot of things are related so that's why we can view these tabs as well over here so first watch that video then you can understand very clearly okay now Coming to service cloud. Service cloud is mainly about the case management, right? In the intro, like how I explained you on a high level, service cloud means basically it's about the case management, right? Like customer is facing some issue, agent will raise a case regarding that and the case will be assigned to that concerned person. That case will be resolved. Customer will be happy. Okay, so this is the main objective. Now, let's see how we can create a case, okay, in Salesforce, right? Now, this is the cases tab. Just click on it. So, user will be navigated to this cases uh, screen. So, just click on new. So, as I am creating the case, so I will be the case owner. Okay. For example, I am agent. Okay. So, in real time, how it happens is like that particular some organization or account is facing some issue okay so uh, that organization will be having some contacts right so they will be calling agent i mean me they will call me and they will mention that particular contact will call me and they will mention like we are facing so and so issue okay so as an agent my objective is i need to raise a case okay inside salesforce so i am the agent so first contact like who called me if already contacts are available those all contacts will be displayed over here if not available we can create a new contact okay so here i am creating a new contact uh just uh, uh salutation it's like just provide anything first name like anything i'm adding it as amul like star something just provide anything just make sure like all the like required fields you're providing some data okay and if already some see uh, like already these accounts or these organizations are available uh in my org so i can select anything just i'll select some edge communications okay means this particular contact amul star which i am creating uh is related to this organization okay so just uh lead source means what like uh, from where i got this contact actually okay through web or through phone so i got through phone right from my real time example so you can select anything from my example it's phone inquiry okay just provide all the required details yeah and click on save okay so you can see here right amul star contact so this particular amul star has contacted me saying that they are facing some issue okay now account name so uh, it's related to edge uh, communications right so click on edge communications then yeah then status so it's new 
right so here we can see three types of status new working escalated new means what like just we created the uh, case now okay and uh, it's it will be assigned to that concerned person for resolution okay working means what this particular case has been assigned already and we are working on it to resolve this issue as soon as possible okay what is escalated means like if it's assigned to that some particular level okay still it's not yet resolved then automatically it automatically or manually we can assign that case to the next higher management level so that uh like the case will be resolved as soon as possible okay that is called as escalated status so i'm just selecting new priority uh select any priority like whether this case has to be resolved with a high priority or medium low. so i'm selecting as medium yeah, the next important required field is case origin. Means what? Like this uh, particular contact Amul Star. Uh, like from how I came to know about this uh, issue. Okay. Like Amul Star, how they contacted me through phone, through email, or through web. Okay. These are different pick list values. Okay. Here, like the drop down values are given. So, what we call, we call these as the pick list values. Okay. So, in Salesforce, in Salesforce terms, we call it as a pick list value. Now, these pick list values can be customized, like values can be added or values can be removed. So a lot of things can happen inside the Salesforce, which we can discuss clearly in the coming videos. Okay. So as of now, I'm selecting my pick list value as phone case origin. Okay. Type, yeah. Like uh, what is the type of this issue? Okay, now edge communications, right? So communication, so it can be some electronic. I'm selecting electronic, okay? So yeah, type also, type of this issue also varies from organization to organization, right? So communication, so I have already added these customized pick list values, okay? Now, if I'm selecting some other organization, then uh, we can add like some other pick list values related to that organization, right? So that's how it works and case reason also. So you can select any case reason like some breakdown, okay? These are also again pick list values which can be customized, okay? And here actually we are asking only one reason, but in real time actually they might ask us to give reason one, reason two, reason three, like we can select some reason one and uh, accordingly, True reason one, reason two, reason three uh, will be values will be populated. So like this, lot of things can be customized inside the Salesforce case management. Okay. Now whatever you're seeing is just the uh, basic one, right? So accordingly, in real time, according to our project, uh, like Dev Team will customize this case management. Okay. Um, just provide additional information if you have anything like product yeah see a lot of products are there so like with which product we are facing issue these pick list values also can be customized okay so i'm just selecting some product anyways you can see right these are all not the required fields okay so and uh sla violation okay what is sla sla means service level agreement means what like for example two parties are available one party wants the service and the second party is available to provide the service so uh, some agreement happens between both parties where they clearly discuss like what service needs to be provided and uh, during that service what are the things which have to be taken care like you know, within how much time that uh, service should be completed a lot of things uh, will be available okay so whether uh, uh, issue is regarding that particular SLA violation happened or not okay I'm selecting no. means what uh, this particular product for example in real time this particular product should be working without any issue for at least one year okay that is defined SLA but it got uh, like uh, damaged within like uh, six months only okay so it's an SLA violation right then we can select as yes got it then subject what is subject mainly what is the issue what is the issue like for which reason uh like they have contacted us okay so it's like uh we can see like electronic breakdown okay look breakdown breakdown within six months like a description you can just uh, provide the clear description like in more clear details okay and you can add some internal comments also if you want and just click on save yeah see so case has been created see this is the case number and here you can see right the priority status case number everything is displayed over here and on the right hand side we have the case details right clearly who who is the case owner status everything clearly like who created the case so everything is available on the right hand side and what is in the center like feed you can see here right like all updates we can see over here like initially case has been created so if we are changing something in this case then all updates we can be over here for example i'm changing this status to new to working save 
okay so yeah you can see here right i have a status new to working so all updates we can view under this okay now what is call logs like if i have contacted this particular uh, person for this case or they have contacted me all the call logs we can view over here all the text post or status changes see status uh, just now i changed the status right so the status also we can view over here okay so basically what are all the actions we are performing on this particular case we can view clearly in this screen right in this feed and if you want you can share any update okay and you can create any poll also a lot of things we can do okay now coming to this related list so these are these are all called as the related list means what for this particular case what are all the related fields like we can uh, take care of for example attachments like if you want to attach any screenshots or for example a case has been created right so anything it can be anything okay it depends on the case any attachments you can add or case comments if you add if you want to add any case comment like um, this particular case has been assigned to respective owner and it would be resolved within 48 hours like it's something anything okay see i'm just adding some case comment okay then activity history open and so a lot of, if you if we want to create any new task or new event uh, related to this case a new task means what for example like if you want to resolve any case uh, it might be having like a lot of flows right for example first that case should be assigned to that particular queue or person that that particular person has to uh, do some task so accordingly we can track all the tasks over here clearly like all the tasks have been completed and finally the case has been resolved or not okay so these are all called as the related list okay here you can see case history also see like initially i have created then the status has been changed so everything we can view under this case history also okay now yeah so uh go to cases and see lot of things are there like all closed cases all open cases my cases now i'll click on all open cases okay so see this is my case which i just created you can see here right electronic breakdown within six months amul star so like this you can filter and see also and if you want you can click on edit and edit the case as well okay you can delete you can change the owner also click on change owner you can search for any other users who are available like see and you can assign this particular case to that user okay and if you will see uh, like we can share this case with like any other uh, hierarchy okay see view case hierarchy a lot of things are there okay so i suggest you guys to just explore this one and yes this is all about the service cloud okay mainly the service cloud is all about the case management okay so once again uh, regarding accounts and contacts you can go through the sales cloud video and service cloud it's mainly about the case management which i have discussed very clearly in this video so i hope you guys are able to understand this and it's really helpful thank you so much guys for watching this video